Hello, I'm Dave Davidson, and I'm excited this first week of November 2022 because the lead singer of the internationally famous and renowned band U2, Bono, has his memoir out. And I've actually started listening to the audiobook the last couple days on the road. The book is called Surrender, and it's 40 chapters, and the chapters are named after key songs of the last 46 years of U2. I haven't even opened my copy yet because I've been out of town. So I want to show you the book. And I thought I'd talk about some key elements in the first few chapters here before the sun goes down. I love my red bush <laughs> on my driveway. It, uh, as soon as it gets cold, it, it goes crazy. And then we have the natural sounds of the east side here. So here is what the book looks like. Unless it's like some... Oh. oh, that's the back of the book. This is this is a great way to scare someone later. Oh. All right. You probably can't read it correctly, but it says surrender because I have it backwards, okay? It's about 550 plus pages. That's why I'm listening to a lot of it. Uh, you know... I was telling a friend who didn't really know a lot about U2 the other day about U2 and Bono. It's not easy for celebrities to be celebrities. Okay, They fall, they have immense scrutiny, immense responsibility, immense privilege, excess. Uh, one thing Bono has said about his life before is he says, he, know that his, he knows that his fame and his celebrity status is a type of currency. He has leveraged that to help negotiate down the uh, the former aid to Africa from America about a decade or so ago, actually more than that. And he's been nominated by the for the Nobel Peace Prize, I think twice, could just be once. 40 songs, one story. So it's a life story of Bono. Uh, I've listened to the first eight chapters, I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> he, uh, He's a good writer, by the way. You would think that a good lyricist could be a good writer. Uh, the These first chapters are about when he was a boy. And so some of the chapters are from some of the song titles of that first album. Uh, and uh, so you got your I Will Follow, 11 O'Clock Tick Tock, Two Hearts Beat is One. Uh, I was telling my friends, like, you know, they were probably thinking, well, should, shouldn't Bono probably act like a normal evangelical or a certain type of believer? I go, no, not so fast. I know this enough about this man. Uh, he grew up in I Ireland, and his mom was a Protestant. His dad was a Catholic. So right there, you have some turmoil or some, some stress about what to do on a Sunday, that's for sure. Of course, he grew up in a neighborhood where Catholics and Protestants were literally bombing each other. So that's a very unique upbringing as a believer or someone who's searching out of faith. Okay. Uh, so today I just thought I'd talk briefly about the word surrender. Uh, it's a song, I believe, on the uh, uh, War album. And this book is more about Bono's life. And I just want to do a few devotionals on some of the key words because Bono really inspires me. And while one song, you know, I just found out that Iris was about his his mother. And if I could hear the Iris song, which was released in 2015 on the one of the Innocent uh, albums, you know, I, I can get a different meaning from that. Uh, one musical artist said one time that he likes, or she or he likes to say a song, and then the 10,000 or 40,000 people have different meanings. So I am inspired by U2 and Bono. Uh, because their songs are real life and they, they bring me back to the Bible. Uh, so the word surrender, we'll just talk about his, the name of his book. You know, he has, and we have to constantly surrender our life to something. <laughs> it could be, uh, biblical principles. It could be your boss's intentions for you to work. <laughs> it could be your spouse's, uh, regret or, or hopes and wishes but we're surrendering to government, we're surrendering to sometimes our own will, or we're surrendering to our own sin, nature. Uh, so 
this is an honest story so far that I've pulled across, and this, I'm holding my new copy uh, to of a man who's honest. Like he's saying things that someone who wanted to watch what he says wouldn't say. Okay, it's authentic. Um, when you do surrender uh, your life to Christ, you you follow him. Like the song "I Will Follow." Actually, when Bono wrote this, it was more about a a son following his mother. His mother died when he was a young man. Uh, he relates in the first few chapters how his brother and his father and him really didn't mention or talk about the death of his mother, Iris. In fact, he says in a chapter that the, the band started, when, when once the band was formed, they started warming up uh, you know, practice rehearsals there just 100 yards away from her grave, and he never visited it. It was kind of like an Irish man thing to, to stuff those emotions down. And so what's different about the Bible and Bono is that the Bible <laughs> had a purpose when it was written. And, and there's, while it can be inspiring like the Psalms and Proverbs, when, when there's a Bible verse, it means a certain thing. When Bono writes a song, there can be a lot of different applications to it, right? I guess that could be true for some Bible verses. But... The Bible has had several authors over hundreds of years, <laughs> and uh, Bono, this is just his life, of course. Uh, Bono said in his book so far that, that before each concert, the band prays, and that he's always taking Jesus with him. Bono's going to take Jesus with him a way different than you and I. My main thing isn't Bono, it's like, can Bono's life steer me back to Jesus? I'm a Jesus guy. I love the Lord. I'm always learning too. I've told my kids before, like if I ever die and you really wanted to know my theology and what I think, listen and get to know all the songs of Petra, which is a very Bible-based Christian rock band. I recommend them to you. And then for life, just to understand it and relationships and the poetry, listen to all the songs of you too. And you're going to know a lot about life between those two bands. Uh... Bono's honest, and I like artists that are honest. For example, when we listen to a song by Pink, right, and she's talking about overcoming something of some addiction or some, some kind of childhood trauma, I'm not questioning her. She experienced that, right? So it's very fascinating to learn how this band started in the early days before you could just put something up on YouTube or deliver a song to Spotify. They were on a path to to try to get that record deal, right? And then through a series of circumstances there with the negotiation with Paul McGinnis and their decision-making uh, conclusion as a band, they went with him and obviously one thing led to another. And Bono and Adam Clayton and Larry Mullen Jr. and The Edge, Dave Evans, uh, they have been missionaries representing Amnesty International, representing oppressed people around the world. Also, they've represented fortune, fame, rock star lifestyles sometimes. So when we look at a celebrity or we look at anyone's memoir, maybe they're not famous, maybe they're just uh, canned strawberries, right? How can someone's life biography, their memoir, how can it inspire you? And if you're surrendering to something like Bono, you know, I haven't read the whole thing, but he's constantly bringing Jesus with him. He's surrendering. Uh, the War album is amazing. It, 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 I think it helped form me as a young believer in the world issues. You got these songs about war, of course, and I'm like, wow, there's bigger needs out there than just being a teenager in Indiana. Uh, and so God has used this band in my life, and it brings me to the Bible, okay? I don't try to put Bono in a place. He's his own person. I'm not judging Bono. I'm trying to be inspired by him, and I get discernment from the Bible, even on issues about Bono. I surrender. I try to surrender my life to Christ as I gain discernment through God's Word. So, that's a little intro and... And a couple other devotions I'll do here about Bono and his life memoir. Uh, they've been 
a band for 46 years, U2. And it's it's probably going to be, or if it's not already, I haven't looked at the charts, it's an international bestseller. Uh, I recommend the audiobook so far. Uh, take care, and God bless, and surrender to the source of your life that is calling you. Surrender to Jesus, I, I pray that you will. And uh, whatever God uses to bring you to him, it might be Bono, it might be another piece of media, or it might be a family member, or a, a, a book, literature, but God is calling you to surrender to him for him to have fellowship with you. So that's just something to think about today. Take care. Thanks so much for listening and watching.